And her other question is, and for you in general, will you try for a fourth baby whenever you feel ready? Well, this is a good one. This is real good. Hey Mountain Family, how's it going? So today is the Q&A. Didn't think I was gonna be doing one of these. <laughs> I really didn't. I was like, okay, I'm gonna do like the 50 random facts about me and whatever questions I get from you guys, I will just answer in that because there's not gonna be a lot. Oh my, was I wrong? You guys delivered three pages back to back of questions. And I'm like, okay, we're gonna do a Q&A. You're gonna hear my kids in the background. I do apologize. One of them is probably gonna get fussy at some point and I'll have to take care of it. So I am sorry. <laughs> Motherhood, it is what it is. See, just like this. What? You need, you're thirsty? Okay, hold on a second. So let's just jump right on in and I wrote these questions in the order in which they were asked. So, question number one is from David Anderson and it says, what's the hardest part being a mother? Jumping in hot. Uh, the ability to stretch myself. That is absolutely the hardest part. Because the girls are so close in age, they are kind of sort of in similar stages like they're all wanting to get into things particularly carly carly hi carly is my tornado she's into everything andy is very much into things kenley is like carly's sidekick so by herself kenley doesn't really get into a whole lot but with carly she gets into everything and it's really hard to you know see what andy's into see what carly's into if Car if kenley is into something too and that's really really hard our tornado Tornado asks, if you were invisible for a day, what would you do? Oh, I don't know what would I do. Probably like leave the house and go somewhere by myself for a little bit just to get a little bit of me time because I don't get that at all. So probably that. And her second question is, what is your favorite part of your body? I guess it's my hair. My hair has never ever been this long. It's like pretty much level with the middle of my boobs and it's never been this long. The whole time I lived with my dad, my stepmom wanted me to keep my hair like at my shoulders or above. Please don't ask me why. I think it's stupid. But she always wanted us to have like super short hair. So I've never had hair this long and it feels awesome and I really like it. And because I've had kids and I've lost some hair, it's not as thick as it used to be when I was a teenager. I really like my hair nowadays. You like your hair? Yeah, I like my hair. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Akela asks, what's your favorite food? Mexican. And it's particularly bad when I'm pregnant. I want it all. I want enchiladas. I want tacos. I want quesadillas. I want it all. Fajitas. I want it all. And I just, I don't know why. <laughs> and this one, my favorite place to eat, she asks, is kind of like goes into it. It's a Mexican restaurant that's local. Don't know how to say it because I don't know how to speak Spanish, but it's my favorite. They fix some good Mexican food. It's good. CO Mom asks, what is my favorite color? It's purple. Kind of like this purple, like around these shades. She also asks, what is your favorite thing about being a mom? All of the love, because all of my girls are really, really loving. They want hugs and they want kisses, and they tell me they love me like 15 times a day. And while that can get kind of annoying at times, like I love that I'm loved. And her last question is, what is your most hated chore? Laundry, because it's just such a long process and there's so many steps. The the washing, the drying, the folding, the putting away. Oh my god. I just need somebody to come to my house like two, three times a week to do some laundry for me. <laughs> Can I have that? Please, because I hate it. There are a couple of questions about Grace in here, and I wasn't going to answer them. I was um, seeing if I would get enough of those questions to do a separate Q&A, uh, but I didn't get enough of them. I only got two, so I'm just going to go ahead and answer them here instead of replying, and then nobody else knows the answer, and I might get them again. So let's go ahead. Jackie N. says, I was wondering in the other Q&A, you said your sister Chandler doesn't know she's adopted by your dad, and he ain't her by biological dad. So I was wondering if your other siblings 
<laughs> Sorry. No, and just don't tell her either. And since your youngest sister did a vid with you and knows about your channel, she must know. So isn't Chandler aware you have a channel or isn't anyone scared that she could find out these vids if she's not supposed to know? Even though it's bogus to not tell her, I agree with you. Okay, when my parents divorced, my mom got remarried when I was like five or six. I want to say it was like five or six. I was one of those. My dad got married like two weeks after his divorce was final and my parents couldn't be more different of people. You've no idea. My dad had five kids. Oh, no. My, sorry. My dad had four kids in five years. Uh, me, Chandler, Scotty, and Faith were all born between 1991 and 1996. My mom had three kids in 14 years. So my sister Hannah is on my mom's side and her and I are nine years apart. And she has no contact at all with any of my siblings on my dad's side because they've never felt the need because they're not related. Yeah, Chandler and Faith don't know. N don't, don't know. And they are really determined to keep it from them. When I left my dad's house, I've been basically disowned and they want nothing to do with me. I'm blocked on all social media. I mean, just everything. So, then no, no. They will never know about my channel. They don't know this exists and they're not interested in never watching it. And her other question is, and for you in general, will you try for a fourth baby whenever you feel ready. Oh, this is a good one. This is real good. And the answer to that question is yes. Dev and I are actively planning baby number four. I want to go into more detail in my New Year's resolution vlog because then I can go into like the whole thing and I would rather do it there but I will tell you that yes we are planning it we are discussing it and uh, we are even like having a time frame can't tell you when the time frame is but I will tell you it'll be soon ish this question is from I'm so sorry for mispronouncing your name it's not my fault. I'm really sorry. I'm bad at guessing name pronunciations. Adriana, Adriana Lee asks a few questions and that's okay. Our first one is, what are your plans once all the girls are in school for yourself and your future? That's a good question and I'm not sure. I am very content and happy right now doing YouTube. I may not have a big audience. I may not make any money and I don't. I make nothing, but I don't care. I still love doing it and it's something that, um, oh my goodness, you're gonna get angry. It's something that I can put my creativity into and I can express myself and it's, you know, a way to connect with people because I'm a lonely stay-at-home mom and I want to connect with people and I really enjoy it. I really like it. So I can see myself doing YouTube for a while and I'm like considering going to school to be a registered dietitian but here's the thing. I would not be able to juggle a full-time job doing YouTube full-time, taking care of my kids, taking care of my house, it's too much. It is just too much. So I just don't know. I wouldn't mind like in the you know future when I eventually do quit YouTube. I wouldn't mind going to school to be like a counselor. Like um, um, like a mental health counselor. I think I would really like that. Maybe even like a therapist. I would really enjoy that job and it's not a ton of schooling. And I know they don't make a ton of money but that would be okay because it would be a very fulfilling job. But I just don't know right now. I'm playing everything by ear and we'll see. Her other question is, do you ever think about trying to move closer to your mom and sister all the time, every day of my life? But the, here's the problem. Devin's a coal miner and up here is where the coal mines are. You gotta go where the job is. So I don't see us moving closer to my mom and my sister. They live in Lexington, Kentucky. Well, Frankfurt actually, sorry. And I just don't see it happening. Another question is, some days when you are having a really bad, stressed, or depressed day, have you ever considered forcing yourself to put the girls in the stroller and take a walk to rest your mind? I know as a stay-at-home mom, when I have bad days, taking a little walk can work wonders. I have in the past, but the problem is there's just nowhere to walk to and it's a lot of work to get all three girls outside and dressed and you know staying close to mommy and I can put Kinley in the double stroller but she wants out of it she likes wants to crawl out of the bottom of it like every 10 minutes five minutes and it's just a lot of work I prefer when I'm having a bad day and I don't have too many of those I have bipolar disorder if you're brand new to my channel and I'm on medication now which really helps Helps. really like I very rarely have bad days anymore 
But my favorite thing is to go outside in our yard. That's my favorite. Because then the girls can play and it's less stress, it's less work. Rachel Tipton asks, favorite family activity to do together? Do I have a favorite? I'm not sure if I have a favorite. I really like going to playgrounds. I really love that. That's a lot of fun to me. Because the girls can play, I can sit on a bench, maybe be in my phone for a tad bit, look up, be in my phone for a tad bit, look up. <laughs> or play with them. Sometimes I play with them. Well, I guess, yeah. Majority of the time I play with them. Her next question is, favorite movie or TV show? I'll give you both. My favorite movie, well, I have two. They're kind of tied. My favorite movies are Something Borrowed. If you've never seen it, it's a really good movie. And The Time Traveler's Wife. If you've never seen that, it's also a really good movie. They're my favorites. Favorite TV shows. Uh, it's kind of a tie bef between Friends and How I Met Your Mother. I kind of like How I Met Your Mother more. <laughs> But I like them both. Next question is, if you could have any career, what would it be? I've been wanting to be an author since third grade. It's one of those careers that you think that you want as a kid, but mine actually stuck with me. I've always wanted to be an author. I've always wanted to write my own book. Next question is, are your girls named after anyone? Not their first names, but their middle names, yes. Carly is Carly Renee. Renee comes from Devin's side of the family. It is his stepmom, his sister and a cousin's middle name. So she's Carly Renee. McKinley Joy. Joy comes from my side of the family. It's my mom's middle name and my grandmother's first name. Andy Ray Lynn is, Ray Lynn is a two part. It was gonna be Andy Ray. Ray is my dad's brother's middle name that he passed away when my dad was like 13 or 14 and my uncle was 21 or 22. I wanna say he was 22, but that was his middle name and I've always just really liked it. So I wanted to name her Andy Ray. But Devin was like, that is straight up sounded like a boy's name. Someone's gonna read that and think she's a boy. And I'm like, well, that's kind of any unisex name. Like Chandler, it could be a boy or a girl's name. So anyway, he wanted to name her Ray Lynn because it sounded a little more feminine. And I was like, okay, fine. We wouldn't find out until later that, oh yeah, it's my cousin Samantha's middle name too. So I guess, you know, there's another family name. I just really like family names and keeping it in the family. Don't ask me why, I don't know. I just think that it's a really special thing. Last one from her is, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Oh my God, anywhere in the world? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Um, probably Florida, because I don't like being cold. I don't like it. <laughs> Florida gets, you know, somewhat chilly weather. You hear a lot of Floridians talk about, you know, 60 degree weather being so cold and I'm like, girl, try 15 degree weather. It's cold. <laughs> but anyway, I just think I would really like Florida. I love the beach. Love the beach. So I would probably want to live in Florida. Cameron Brown asks, what is your favorite thing to cook or your go-to meal? It's this chili that I make. It's called three bean chili. I'm going to probably make it in a vlog one day just to show you guys, you know, what it is. <laughs> Because it is so easy. You just buy some cans and throw it in a pot and call it a day and it's always so good. So I will make that in a vlog. Just look for it in the future. Dana Parsons asks, if you could take a family vacation anywhere, where would you go? I have always wanted to go to Italy and England. I don't know why England, probably because most of my heritage is from there. Can you tell? I'm sure you can, I know. But I've always wanted to go there to kind of like see the history. I'm I'm a big history person and you know just like tour it I would just love that love it so much and I really like Italy too I don't know why I don't know if it's because of the pretty architecture or what it is the food maybe but I've just always wanted to visit both of those countries but I I I guess if I only had to pick one, England. The next question is, how did you and Devin meet? We met in high school. I wouldn't, I can't call him my high school sweetheart because he's not. He was my high school crush. I had a big crush on him. And come to find out later on, he had a big crush on me. We were just both too chicken to ask each other out, so it never happened. But yeah, we've known each other since eighth grade. Well, he was in eighth grade, I was in seventh. We've known each other ever since. Next question is, what jobs have you had before the girls came along? I've only had one and I was a sales associate at Macy's. I worked there for all
almost two years. And the last question from her is, if you had a $100 gift card to spend on just yourself, what would you buy? A bra that fits? More than one bra that fits at that, <laughs> and some clothes, because I just don't have anything that fits me really well right now, particularly undershirts. Like, I need some camis really bad. And a bras that fit, because, you know, my size has been all over the map, and I just need something that fits. Next person, I love you guys, a coat's life. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong yet again. I'm so bad. But would you rather have a whale sized hamster or a hamster sized whale? Probably a hamster sized whale. Where would I stick a whale sized hamster? I don't know. But a little baby teeny tiny whale. Yeah, I can handle that. Brittany Rigdon asks, what is your cleaning routine? Do you guys want a vlog of that? Do the majority of you like those? Because I can do one. I can do like, you know, my cleaning routine vlog if you want me to. Just leave me a comment down below and let me know. I'll whip that right up. Stephanie Willis asks, just curious, who all do you subscribe to on YouTube? Love the video. <laughs> this is long. I'm just going to start rattling them off from this paper. And I listed as many as I could. More specifically, the ones that I watch the most of. But I watch all of these periodically. I don't get to watch um, particular all of the YouTube channels I'm subscribed to every single day all the time. Because I'm a vlogger too and I just don't have the time. But I do have like two that I do watch religiously. So here we go. Ready for all this? Here's what I'm subscribed to. Jess Fan, Brittany and Baby, WatchMojo.com, Graveyard Girl, L of the Mills, KK and Baby J, OK Baby, Ellie and Jared, Colin and Katie, It's Me Cassidy, Shane Dawson, Roman Atwood Vlogs, The Fray Life, The Ohana Adventure, Emily Norris, Team Two Moms, The Ingham Family of Five, Dr. Sandra Lee, Daily Bumps, Steps to Wonder, Eight Passengers, J House Vlogs, Gardner Quad Squad, April Justin TV, Vintage or Tacky, It's Our Wonderful Life, Carissa Nunez, and Moms Vlog 80. Here we go. <laughs> That's all I could fit without boring you guys. <laughs> this is an anonymous question. I can't say unanonymous. Huh. Uh, and she doesn't want me to say her name, but she asks, it's kind of a few part question story thing. So I've been watching your channel for a while and I love that you're open about your mental health. Thank you. I'm wondering how you decided to share it and do you regret being so open? Do people in your real life judge you now that they know, assuming they didn't before? I have bipolar type 2 and don't tell many people simply because I don't want to be judged and labeled mostly by my husband and family. I'm really wanting to touch on my mental health moving forward with our channel, but I'm not sure how. I decided to be uh, open with my mental health because there was no way getting around it. I'm bipolar type 2 as well, and I have really high highs, really low lows, and on those low lows that I used to have, I did not want to vlog. I didn't want to do anything. I had no energy, so it was like no getting around it. I had to be open, but not only that. Another reason I wanted to be so open about my mental so health is because it is so stigmatized. And you know what? I just don't care. If you want to unsubscribe because I talk about my mental health, well, whatever. Do so. But I'm not going to stop talking about it because the more people talk about it, the more that the information, the education gets out there, the less it'll be stigmatized. I want to be one of those voices that says, hey, listen, I'm not crazy. I'm not a bad mom. I'm not psycho. This is just what I deal with. It's part of me and this is how I'm handling it and there's going to be somebody out there with a mental health problem like me who will feel helped and this will, you know, help them and I really want to do that for people like, hey, this works for me, maybe it'll work for you. And I just really want to be part of that. If you want to move forward with your mental health, I really encourage that. Because we need more people. We need more voices. And the stigma needs to be broken down. <laughs> we need you. We need you. So please, open up. Talk about it. And if you get unsubscribes, don't take it personally. Maybe it has to do with them. But you are needed and you are important and your voice matters. Rachel or Rochelle, so sorry, oh my gosh, uh, she asks, um, how do you guys have any alone time with three under three at three years? Mostly at night, <laughs> like when the girls go to sleep. We just stay up a little later, like an hour or two, something like that, and we'll watch a movie or we'll talk or we'll do something like that. We don't really get a whole lot of date nights, unfortunately. We just don't have a whole lot of people to watch our kids, but we try to make the most of it and and, you know, just whatever time that we do find or we do have, that's when we try to spend time together. Jennifer Teachout says, how are the girls' heart health stuff since you moved from the apartment? Uh, it's the same. And I 
even was told by her cardiologist, their cardiologist, sorry, because uh, we had an appointment with him in November. I just didn't get the chance to tell you guys. I think my lens might have still been broken. But anyway, um, it was I wasn't able to film it. But we had a cardiologist appointment, and he says that their cases are so mild that they may never develop a heart problem. And I'm like, oh, that's so good. Thank God. Because children who have this severely... It's bad, like diabetic comas, seizures, failure to thrive, it's bad. She also asked, does Devin like his job? He likes it way better than truck driving. <laughs> I will say that. And the last question from Jennifer is, did the depot shot hurt and would you ever do it again? No, it didn't hurt. It didn't feel like it felt like any other shot. Um, it was actually, you know, I've had some shots that actually do hurt. This one didn't hurt at all. And I'm thinking about doing it again because I'm due for another one the 17th, so in like two days. Uh, but they tell you that the depot is still in your system for like another two weeks after the supposed day, you know, is out that you need a new one. So I am going to set up an appointment that I will hopefully get in this week. WV Running Don asks, what is the biggest WV town you have ever been in? I grew up my whole life, well, most of my life, in Huntington, and I don't know which is bigger. I, I would have to actually Google it. I don't know if Charleston is bigger or if Huntington is bigger. Okay, Huntington has 48,000 people and Charleston's 49. Okay, so Charleston beats Huntington by 1,000 people. So Charleston. Pink Princess 347 asks, how long have you been married? Where did you get married? We have been married, it'll be four years, this December 31st. And the last question is another Grace question. It's from Carolyn Pina. I hope I said that right. She asks, will you send Grace Christmas presents? No, I, I can't send her anything. If I were to send her anything, my parents would throw it away. How do I know this? I'll tell ya. So, between the ages of 14 and 18, I didn't have any contact with my mom. Don't want to go into the reason why, because it's complicated, and I really hate that. And I didn't know this until I was an adult, but my mom still sent me, like, birthday cards, Christmas cards, Easter cards. She sent me gift cards there for a little bit, but then she stopped because my parents would throw them out. Gift cards, throw them out. My, all of the cards were thrown out. I didn't get squat. I seriously thought that my mom just didn't want a relationship with me all those four years. And when I reconnected with her at 18, she was like, no, no, I sent you stuff and I wanted to talk to you and I thought about you every single day and, and I was just, oh my god, I was like floored. So that's why I'm not going to send her anything because A, it's a waste of money and B, they're just going to throw it out anyway. Thank you guys so much for your awesome questions. I am so excited and pleased how many of you gave me questions. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. If you want to follow me on social media, there are links down below and also down there is a link to my other channel and I'll see you guys later in a new vlog. Bye guys!